Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Masks Off. I am Kim. And I'm Tia. And we were just saying before we started recording, this is episode 45. We have Woo-hoo! done 45 episodes. It's incredible to think how many are out already. And we just started not long ago. So awesome. We have so been, much fun. <laughs> so much fun. It's been a super amazing journey so far and love it, love it. So as always in tradition, we start with a quote and today's quote is, if we stuff our emotions, we pretend they don't exist. Yep. And (laughs) let me just tell you, yes, I can 100% relate to this quote because as I have shared many times throughout the episodes that I, my drug of choice is to use food. So I've come a long, long way and I'm much better at being in tune and pausing and checking in with what is going on with me. But I've always, since an early young age, have you, whenever I have felt sad, fearful, anxious, scared, those are all kind of the same category, but even excited. Oh. Even excited and happy, even if it was a celebration, mm. the family coming together at Christmas time, or just excited, cel- even celebrating, I could still find myself tipping into that overeating. Is but it because definitely- it was too much? Like too much excitement? What do you think? Mm. You know, because most people tend to think that we're stuffing our negative feelings only. Yeah. So I'm just curious what I know, right? It's interesting that it's interesting that this is where we're starting off because Mm -hmm. we tell you all the time, we never plan what we're going to say in our podcast. We just go with it. Um, So that's interesting. When you said, is it too much? I honestly think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, cause I can feel it in my body right now that like, if it's Christmas time or Christmas morning, or even if I've just, I can remember, um, maybe after a, uh, an accomplishment, achieving yeah. something and feeling super excited. I think anytime the emotion is really big, mm. it feels too much for me. So it's like the pendulum swings either way and yes. your nervous system gets overloaded. It's an overload. Okay. And so I want to, mm, yes. Interesting. Right? So I want to just like chill that down, bring that down. Do you think it's, this is so fascinating because I've never really thought about it on the other end. Yes, me either. Super joyful moments, right? So I wonder if, okay, so when we're feeling sad or anxious or fearful, it makes, it makes more intuitive sense just on a cultural basis, because we've talked about this too, that you shove those down because they're not accepted. Yeah. And right? shame. Let's and throw shame, shame in there. Exactly. Shame and guilt. Okay. So now when we're super joyful and things are really awesome, are we trying to tamp it down? Because it's like, oh, oh, if I feel this good, the rug's going to be taken out beneath me and I, and all, everything's going to fall apart. So let me tamp it down so I don't get so overexcited so the crash isn't so hard. Well, I definitely know what you mean by that. I've always experienced or been afraid of waiting for the shoe to drop, if that's what you're talking about. So that could be at play as well. Like, oh, I don't want this feeling to kind of go away. Mm -hmm. Even on vacation, right? Even a vacation where there's Mm -hmm. just very little low stress as a child, I can remember just being excited to be on vacation, but it didn't stop. Like just because I was in a better space, it didn't stop the overeating or the pushing down you know, or, or just mm-hmm. didn't stop the overeating. So was there a sense of, I didn't, I was fearful of the shoe dropping possibly, but it also feels like this either, or right. This all or nothing, mm-hmm. either I'm feeling really down low with the shame and the not enoughness or the super high, like excited, feeling good kind of feeling and just wanting that balance of somewhere in between. Yeah. Just, I, I think when you said my nervous system, it's the, if I'm tapping into how I felt back then mm-hmm. is that it felt like it was just too much for my nervous system to even be that excited or that elated about something. Makes sense. So 
when you can take yourself back to that Christmas morning or whenever, yeah. where do you feel it in your body? Because we, you know, we talk about yeah. that and Always balancing checking. your backpack, course, all, you know, it's checking in with our body, mind, and spirit. So where in your body do you feel the, feel. the good, ha- happy, you know, the positive yeah, emotions? Yeah, like I can feel quality. like yeah. in, you know, within the heart and throat area, the heart and throat mm-hmm. areas where I'm feeling that kind of excitement. And then when you're on the other extreme, where is it? It's more my stomach. Yeah. The guilt, the shame, the not enoughness is where, where I would feel that. Yeah. Yeah, And the body talks to us. The the body body does talk and it is still there, you know, not nearly as strong as it used to be because (laughs) I've done a lot of inner work and I've healed a lot of that. And so, you know, particularly like with RTT, what you Mm -hmm. do is, and even in a lot of healing is you can heal the energy of the memory so that you can still go back and have the memory, but that Mm -hmm. charge that you had when you were a child is no longer there. Yeah. So like I, when you ask me to tap in and feel it, I can still feel where it is, but it's not nearly as strong Mm -hmm. as it used to be because I've healed a lot of those, especially the negative memories, right? right? Right. Those ones that were really painful. So that's why we yeah. wanted to, oh, go ahead. You were going to say something. Yeah. And I think, well, just the, the fact how you brought that up, it doesn't have that charge. So when we're talking about inner work, inner healing, becoming more authentic, it's not about dismissing and ignoring what has happened and that we can't go back and feel where we were at that moment because that's who we are. We're, that's part we of being to. whole. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so I love what you said, that charge. So I think you know, for me, it feels like I'm not attached to it. No longer attaches to me. I'm more an observation versus, so I, it's, I use the image of driving the bus, right? So before when that big feeling would come, it would start driving my bus for me. And now it's in the back seat. So it's there and I notice it's there, but it's no longer making the choices for me. I can now visit it without that charge, like you said. So it's, it's more like I'm an observation yes. with the feeling, but not attached to the feeling, if that makes yes, sense. Yes, hundred percent. And when I do regression with clients, mm-hmm. when I have them go back to a childhood scene where they can first remember that feeling, yeah. I always tell them, I always say to them that you are revisiting mm. this. You are not reliving this Ooh, because like you, right. You're not yeah. eight years old anymore. You're not that mm. five-year-old anymore. So I tell them when they're under hypnosis and they're in regression. And I say to them, you imagine that you're seeing this scene come up on a movie screen. You are just mm. watching it. You're just yes. revisiting it as if it's a movie. Mm. It is not happening. You're not, again, you're not that mm. little child anymore. Right. So it allows some separation between, you know, feeling Mm -hmm. like this, I'm still living this again, it's happening right now, but then they can still experience, you know, the feeling and then we can go and do the work and heal that. Yeah. And I think that's why talking about our feelings, leaning into our feelings rather than ignoring them and shoving them down, which is kind of what we were talking about before we started recording. Or pretend they don't exist as the quote says. Exactly. Because then it's driving the bus versus us. Yes. Making those choices and choosing how to respond and whether I'm going to numb them or not numb them. And it's so important to talk about this because I think that not that I think you can see clearly in our society, Mm -hmm. how rampant it is that people turn to the numbing. Mm -hmm. And as we were saying earlier, it's not just substances. It can be drugs. It can be alcohol. It can be food. It can be a substance, but it can be a behavior as well. Exactly. It can be over-exercising, over-exercising, overworking, Mm -hmm. spending too much money, watching too much TV, too much anything to stuff the emotion or the feeling and to pretend that it doesn't exist. Yeah. And, and I, even something like the bravada, the anger, Mm. um, you know, the the bully type of situ of responses. And I'm not just talking children, I'm talking adults. Adults. (laughs) Yes, of course. We'll not be named. Yes. 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 (laughs) We're just coming off the debate. So, um, 
But that's another way of avoiding those feelings. It's like, I'm going to be tough. And so that behavior of being tough and projecting outward is another way to ignore. Avoid the pain. Mm -hmm. It's because of you. It's not because of me. Oh, blaming, 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 complaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the stuff we ways. So many ways. And we did talk a lot about this in the avoidance mask. And Mm -hmm. it's just, again, it's a way. And I am excited because I do hear more and more people, teachers talking more and more about going inward and how important it is to go inward. And then my hope is for our next generation that they will have more of that going inward Mm -hmm. and really dealing with the pain. Right. Right. And I think it's important too, that going inward and integration and wholeness is so important to authenticity because I'm all for positive thinking and gratitude. Don't get me wrong but not to the detriment where we ignore the darkness, where we shove down all our negative feelings because they're just feelings. They're not negative, really. When we think about them, they're not either or. It's just an emotion. It's just a feeling. Well, feeling, emotion, that's another conversation. Um, So there's a point to positive thinking, but not to the point where you are, that because that positive thinking, like you were saying, it's nice that spiritual teachers are talking about more about going inward and being in touch with our quote negative feelings, because to me that over positivity is another behavior for shoving down. And I agree. That's a really great point. It's a, it is still pretending that it doesn't exist. It's that spiritual bypass that we talk about. Totally. Oh, I can't be angry or I can't be fearful. That's not in line with being spiritual. So I'm just going to pretend I don't have it and be like, Yay, it's a positive day. Look at the bright side. Because I know when yeah. I'm feeling icky, if someone says, oh, just look at the bright side. And it's like, no, I, that doesn't help me right now. <laughs> yeah, you need to just go I need in to and wallow feel a little bit. I just need to feel icky for a little bit. And that's okay. I agree. I Without agree. projecting I, <laughs> on other people. Right. And I feel like the pain too that we have, like some of it can be current day situation, but even still, it probably is going to trigger something else that started way back when we were children. Right. And what I find so fascinating that I'm starting to learn more and more about is how our cells have memory, right? So our cells have the memory. Totally. So whatever like pain that we experience in our childhood or early on is still stored there. Right. And again, going back to what I was saying just a few minutes ago about the hypnosis, until you can go back and heal that, it's going to keep haunting you and it's going to keep coming up and it's going to get louder and it's mm-hmm. going to show up in your inner dialogue mm-hmm. and it's going to keep telling you that you are not worthy enough. Right. You're not worthy of love and belonging. You're not lovable. And as long as, because that's the originating pain, I'm not lovable, I'm not worthy of love and belonging, and that's the original pain, it's going to keep coming up, and then you're going to feel it, you're going to know that it's there, but you're going to pretend that it's not. Exactly. By ignoring it, and then let me just numb this with Mm -hmm. one of the things that we mentioned. Right, right. And you're numbing maybe something not even what we talked about, it may just be ignoring it. Yeah. You know, so how it shows up for everyone can be different or you can have multiple ways depending on the pain point. Oh, I have more than one. Yeah. I have and the day, more than one. Right. And, and the day. day. Yeah. Like, you know what, today I just, I don't have the energy to deal with this. I'm going to do X, Y, or Z. And then the next day it shows up again well, X didn't work enough. So now I better try Y. <laughs> try a different one. <laughs> because yes, and that it's just too happens. much. I can't and for it. me, especially now, like now that I'm, I've, you know, I've done a lot of inner work and a lot yeah. of healing, but as our theme is when I'm not balanced, right? <laughs> when totally. I am not balanced mm-hmm. and I'm not taking care of myself and I'm doing too much of the doing and not enough of the being. And that is another way of ignoring as well yes. is to just Do-do. speed up do, 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 do speed up. That's another one of my go-tos as well is so when I'm out of balance, yep. Then it's like domino effect. Okay. So I'm speeding up. I'm doing, 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 
shoot, I feel really crappy. Okay, now let me go have like some cupcakes. Oh, I feel really bad now. And then the looping starts. Yes. Okay, now let me just have a glass of wine. Oh, that's not doing it. Right. <laughs> it just keeps going. The spiral ever had that happen? gets out of control. And I'm right. in a rabbit hole like going totally. way, way down. Totally. Right. I'm sure yeah. many of our listeners can completely relate right. to that. But then as we start to continue deeper and deeper inner work, deeper yeah. healing, then we can notice it. Are we going to catch it every time? Just like you said, no. we still get stuck into that spiral of the, yeah, oh, I'm going to do, 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 or whatever it is. But the more we lean in and just make peace and integrate and heal that ickiness, then if it rises up, we have that choice. Because sometimes, I mean, I'll be very honest, it comes up and I'm just like, you know what, I can't, I literally have nothing. Like I said, I don't have the bandwidth. I'm not in alignment and in balance, body, mind, and spirit. Your tank so is empty. I, but I'm making, in that moment, I make a conscious choice. You know what, I'm just gonna ignore it for today. And I'm gonna, but then I remember to revisit the feeling when I'm back in balance because that is growth, right? It doesn't look like perfection. It's about recognizing I can make a conscious choice. I don't have it in me right now because I think if I go there, I may get stuck there longer than I need to be. So give myself an hour, have a pity party, whatever I need to do. Uh, Cause that's where I tend to go. I'm like, I am just going to have a little pity party with me and myself. That's yeah. it. Just me and myself. So I don't project it on other people. And then now I'm going to journal. Now I'm going to write about it because now I can. You know, so it's going to look different. It will look different for each of us. Mm -hmm. I think what I love that you said, or what came up for me was that in the past, I wouldn't have, I wasn't even aware right. that all this was going exactly. on. So that's the difference. Like that's yeah. what we're trying to really, you know, highlight here for everybody mm -hmm. listening. There was a day when I didn't even know. I yep. just did the eating. I just did the numbing, mm -hmm. whatever. This disconnect. It was a disconnect completely. Yep. I had the pain. I didn't want to feel the pain. So what's the difference between pain and suffering? Let's say yes. that first. Pain is inevitable. Yes. There will always be pain in life, but suffering is optional as the Buddha always says. Right. And right. so- And there's nothing wrong with pain. There's nothing wrong. We, we have, right, we have we need it. it. We, need, we need to embrace the pain. Yep. It's the suffering that keeps us stuck. Exactly. And I was in suffering and I am- definitely less and less in suffering, more and more in joy, peace, authenticity. Mm -hmm. Before I could get there though, I had to have the awareness, right? First Before, and foremost, you, you have think, to have the awareness. And that's noticing our thoughts, noticing yeah. what our body's telling us, noticing paying what, attention. Yeah. It's just all those little things that the more we just go into observation, curiosity, the awareness increases without the attachment and the suffering because we're not in judgment yeah. mode. How often do we judge ourselves all the time? Oh my, well, that's what keeps <laughs> the spiral going. Right. Number one, because then right. you, you know, if you put on five pounds or you eat too much or you drink too much, you're like, Oh, you know, I feel like a loser. And then mm -hmm. the inner dialogue is really crappy and beating right. yourself. What up was I thinking? Yeah. You're such a loser. I'm such a yeah. loser. I'm such a loser. Yeah. So, and I can say, I want to say too, that I feel like if you are listening to this podcast or you're watching this YouTube, you already have some type of awareness. You wouldn't yes. be even listening or watching if you weren't somewhat willing to look inward and to be aware. So you're mm. in the right place, you're doing the work and it's just bringing more and more awareness to, to light. Yeah. Yeah. So give yourself some credit. Always. A hundred percent. Always. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This was so good. So yeah. maybe, maybe we'll continue this conversation in the next episode. Who knows? Yes. We'll see what Absolutely. we feel like talking about, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, I felt, I feel like this was a good one to, I feel important. like we needed to talk about that. It was an important topic. So we hope that you enjoyed it as well. And as always, thank you for so your support, subscribe, like, comment, share, and, and check out our Unlocking Authenticity School on Teachable cool. because we have yes. 
courses up there. So yes. we'd love to have you join us or take some of the self-led courses as well. Absolutely. On your own time. <laughs> On your own time. Yes. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.